I am going to teach my children how to do the infamous jollof rice. Hi ladies. Hi world. So today, yes, we are going to learn how to make jollof rice. Jollof rice is one of their favorites. So um, some time ago, I remember they said, all we eat is jollof, jollof, jollof. And then I stopped making jollof. So I think after how many months now? It's been a while, right? Yeah, it's been like three. Three months, oh my gosh. Oh gosh, so after three months, we're going to cook jollof rice. So basic ingredients for your jollof rice. Ginger, these are dry ginger. I got them from Ghana. So I've got ginger, I've got salt. So I had somebody um, saying that on Instagram that when you're about to cook jollof rice, one thing that jollof rice hates is bragging. I'm a brag about my jollof rice. My jollof rice does not burn and I'm gonna brag about it. You see how I cook it because I massage my jollof rice. But this, these are the um, the spicy pepper. I know it has a lot of peppers inside, um, but you have pepper and ginger and then goat meat. It, it can be of um, any meat of your choice. Um, it can be chicken, it can be fish. And tomato paste, so um, I use Hunt products. I use to Hunt tomato paste. That's what I've used um, days of old since I got here in the US, but I think in Ghana we have varieties, but Hunt is the tomato paste that I use. And then I've got my powdered ginger, and this is also from Ghana. And, oh, by the way, if you want some spices, you can hit me at the bottom. Anyone that mills, that, that inbox me says will get a free spice. All you have to do is just pay for your shipping. All right, so let me know and I can hook you up with a very nice lady in Ghana and she can hook you up with these spices. So this is authentic, pure ginger. And we've got, we've got um, garlic, also from Ghana. Wait, mommy, is yes. that garlic, uh, that garlic, is it garlic? Garlic, like the regular garlic. I know you've seen the, the root one, yeah, so they, they blend it. They take it apart and they, um, they peel it and then they blend it in Ghana. Oh, so it's just garlic, but it's like just smushed? Yeah, so it's garlic powder. Oh, the, yeah, 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 yeah. And then we've got our oil. All right, so let's begin. We're first going to begin by peeling off our ginger. We're going to wash our meat and then um, we're going to spice it up. So one thing about um, jollof rice is about the spice and that's why I added meat. You can cook it without the meat, but the meat is more of to get flavor and meat has flavor, especially good meat has um, very nice flavor, has very nice aroma. So that's what we're going to use. And uh, for starters, we're going to use only one onion because of the size of the meat. And then we're going to use gin ginger. I'm going to use powdered ginger and then um, powdered garlic. doesn't matter the size, I just didn't want it to, yeah, so sprinkle it. No, it's okay, it's not gonna be that spicy. Oh, the meat needs a lot of spice on it, so. Well, let's grab another one. Grab another one, looks like it's small. Yes. Okay, wonderful. Yep, me too. It's not going to harm. Okay, all right, so let's scoop one. So with the garlic, we will only do just one tablespoon. Let's do it, yep. Good because we haven't there's no water so we're just gonna make sure that everything is gonna yeah. goes around the meat and then let's not forget our salt we're going to salt our meat mommy so what is salt mommy 
Yes. 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 Please subscribe to Nana for my TV. Make sure you subscribe and like this video. It really helps us a lot. Thank you. All right, so marinate the meat. Let's marinate the meat. One thing about a good tasty jollof is your seasoning. The more onions, more ginger, the better the spice, the better the, the jollof rice tastes. So we've got to do more ginger and more onions. Now, typically I love a spicy jollof rice, but <laughs> My people over here do not really like spicy jollof fries. So um, I'm going to do one pepper or maybe one and a half. I think I'll do one and a half because the last time I did two, they complained it was spicy, but they ate it. It's so good. Yes. So we'll do one and a half. Mommy, how many onions are we going to peel? We're going to need a lot of onions. You see that pan over there that we're using to cook? Yes. So we're going to do a lot. Usually, I know you you um, Americans like to do the measurement and all that. When you're peeling the onions, I'm just going to gauge it with my eyes. So I can, for now, I really can't tell how many onions that we're going to need. But I have one bag. I'm thinking of doing the whole bag. thick and I had to add water to it so that it doesn't get burned. A little bit loose and plus I need the juice as well. So mommy, yeah. oh so um like uh so we're gonna like cut half and then like half like yeah, that. Yeah, because I'm going to blend it, there's no specific order of slicing these. Okay, what's the so, question? So if there's too much, you can probably add just some water so it can do it softly. Well, it doesn't need water because the jollof, once you add your tomatoes and even your onions, it's going to bubble a lot in the oil. So I hardly use water when I'm blending the spices. Ooh, this chicken looks so yummy. Yeah, so now we're just going to take these meat out. This is done. Get it out of the fire. Just tasting salt. Wonderful. Are you ladies learning? Yes. So, meat is done. Now we're going to fry it. I typically fry it a little bit Mommy, with the same oil. Yes, dear. Don't you think that's too much oil? Well, I think that's good enough oil. It's, it's a big pan. It's, it's big jello fries. Because I don't really let it fry crispy dry, it really doesn't bother me when the when the spices are, I don't dry the spices, so it's okay, you can do it that way. And you're going to spare, you wanna try sparing? Yes, So now we're gonna leave it for it to simmer. Because we're using this for 
more of the flavor for the jollof rice you don't have to have a lot of meat you can have you can have your grilled chicken on the side and because typically the goat or the or the um beef is for flavor flavoring of the jollof rice which jollof rice is better nigerian jollof rice or ghana jollof rice um ghana ghana <laughs> you think it's ghana i mean how about senegal have you ever tried senegal leaves Senegal. <laughs> Wait, I did, I didn't know they had to loaf rice. I thought it was Senegal. Only... They do. I didn't know. All African countries have their way of doing their jollof rice. If you ask me, I think I like Senegalese jollof rice and Ghana jollof rice. I enjoy Ghana jollof rice. So as we were saying, which one do you think is better, Ghanaian or Nigerian jollof rice? Yes. Or Senegal. Or oh, Senegal. I love Senegalese um, jollof rice. It has, they have a, a variety of meat in it. Uh, they do lots of meat in it, so it, it makes it look different. So I've tasted a, a good jollof rice from Nigeria, but secret, Ghana jollof rice is better. It's better than Nigerian and Senegal. Not to say that Nigerian jollof rice doesn't taste good. But I'm saying that I love Ghana jollof rice and Senegalese jollof rice after tasting all three. <coughs> so, Ghana and Senegalese, which one would you choose? Oh, that's a tough one. I can't. I think both. You think that they, they're they both, they don't taste the same, but they, they're both the same goodness? They're both the same good, yes. Take it to the low. I don't typically put the the salt in my in my onions, ginger, and pepper. I put it in the oil. Oh. Yeah, because the oil is able to absorb the salt more. I'm going to pour in the the onions. ginger, and we, we have to be careful because the oil is hot. Okay, so you pour it in gently. All right. So we gently pour in the onions, not wasting anything, and then we spare. And we spare. I can't hold it so when 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 it's bubbly like that i don't really stir up my onions for it to be brown or you know um you know mommy health conscious so i don't have to like i'm killing all the stuff so when i see all the bubbles this is when i put in exactly that's what i'm saying let's be careful so i'm, I'm the one with the experience here so you watch like an underdog all right, so we scoop, scoop, scoop. So I know that someone's gonna say, how many, you know, 10 tomatoes do you need? So I'm gonna tell you in a minute once I stir it. So I have three now, right? And I'm going to stir it, and that will determine if I'm going to need more or not. So we stir, stir. And the whole idea is to have a consistent appearance. Whoa, that's so red. Yes, and that's what we're looking for. So we're gonna scoop, scoop, scoop. It, it becomes thicker. And as you know, the tomatoes is prone to bubble and it, it can easily stick to the um to the to the to the pan so i'm going to stir and have that consistency and you have to be careful because i just had that let it cook for a while so i'm going to let it cook for under 10 minutes maybe perhaps seven minutes That's and then stay all right let's see Right. 
it's slippery so and it's bubbly so i can feel it that it's not burned it's very smooth at the bottom so that's what i'm looking for and as you can see the oil is not overpowering it's not too much you can still cook your jollof fries with little oil and it would taste good and it, it like i said you know jollof fries is the amount of spices that you have which is your onions and your ginger so this is how i add my shrimp powder i usually blend the shrimp i don't i'm not comfortable getting the powder itself because um, i don't see the shrimp so i pick my own shrimp and i it's almost gone but you can still always use the head you just bite off the eyes so that it doesn't taste bitter Anytime you have a head, you bite off the eyes so it doesn't taste bitter. I usually blend my shrimp into a powder, but I forgot and I already had my onions and it's all my blender is all wet. So I'm just going to add just a little bit of ginger and blend the shrimp with it. color i'm glad i added more paste so it still has the color it's just and i will let it simmer cook for a little bit the shrimp powder or the shrimp also brings the flavor and makes it taste very superb the last part before we add the water, it's we're going to do our stock, right? Then this part also we always have to watch out. So the stock, remember, is from the goat meat, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so now you see how it's going to bubble. Let's get our protector. It's very important. Get your protector, lower the fire. Yep. Watch out, okay, mama? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to scoop. Spears there. So we're going to gently add the hot water. For this also you have to be very careful, okay? We're going to make it a little bit loose. We're not going to use all the water because we don't want it to be too watery. When you add your salt, you have to taste it to, to your tasting because once you put the rice in, there is no, you know, way of putting salt back in. Otherwise, you're going to mess up your whole jollof. So now I'm going to do some tasting and see. Okay. It needs just a little bit salt. It's a bit sweet, which I like because it's from the onions. And I'm going to salt it because we're going to add rice. And the rice is not cooked. It's going to be dry rice. Now we're going to add the rice. Now the way to do the rice is that I don't really measure my rice. I just, once again, I look at the sauce, the pan that I'm cooking with, and I'll see how much rice that is needed. Okay, so let's see. Let me do that because it needs to be fast. This part needs to be fast because I don't, I want all the bubbling to stop. I'm going to get a good... So now I see that the water is still, the rice is still loose. So I'm going to stir, but I'm not going to make it too hot. It has to be a little bit loose. Rice has to be a little bit loose and there's still color, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Add more Oops. rice? Just a little bit more. Just a little Still bit. Kind of I agree. Mm -hmm. And then now, now that the bubbly is, I can bring back the fire. A bit higher. A bit higher. Like so the rubber is very important. You just don't use any rubber. For instance, the very light one. You see how thick this one is? All right, guys. So if, if, if it's your first time, you don't really have to use the rubber. I use the rubber because I'm experiencing it. But if it's your first time trying it, these rubbers are thicker the thicker ones or you could use aluminium foil it 
if you're gonna do the other way of covering the rubber with the lid all you have to do is that cover it and seal it or like the traditional way how our grandmothers does them you leave it on top leave it on top and then cover so now i'm just going to load the fire and let it simmer so the rubber basically is for the moisture because jollof needs a lot of moisture and heat so and the rubber helps the heat to stay in the pan so in some way you're cooking it faster let me think i make sure that every 10 minutes i'm stirring it um pulling it and whatever that is the rice that is on top i'm taking it down so that in a way it's cooking so i'm gonna give it 10 minutes and then i'll come and drive it or stare it we are at this point that we're gonna do a turn so this is how we're gonna turn it all right so we're making sure that whatever that is on top is going down and cooking all right it looks a, a bit soft but it's not cooked it's still hot the rice is still hot don't forget to hit that subscribe button okay so now i think i've got a good amount so i'm going to so we spread it but now it, it looks soft but it's still hot the rice is not cooked yet, but we're going to cover it we usually do our, our eat our jollof with with um fried plantain i believe that it, it tastes you know it brings a, a different kick to the jollof rice when you have your fried plantain on the side all right so at this point we're going to do our meat so we're gonna do one there so it looks like it's almost done you can tell it's almost done but it's so hard So it's so hard. I might need the um, the rubber, both of them. There is always this thing about jollof meats. You end up with so little meats. I wonder why. <laughs> but then, then again, the meat was just for the flavoring, the flavoring of the jollof. You can have your can have chicken on the side fish on the side whatever you want to eat it with now typically when you put when you put your rubber if it's too if the rice is too hot you pour water on top of the rubber but I'm not going to do that because I don't want the jollof to be too soft, right? You have to it has to be in between. So you put water on the rubber, then you, you cover it. But this this one I'm not going to because I could see that it has that consistency that is almost done. Just need more moist, which can be generated by the heat and by the rubber. And I lower it so that I get the crispy brown. I believe this is the final stage now. Let's see. Turn it off. Oh yeah, look at the consistency. It's different. Yeah, and at this point, if you're comfortable, you can touch it. You just look for a less hot spot. Hmm, it's good, I'm gonna try, hold on. It's very hot. Here, blue. Blue. Here, try. Is it too hot? How does it taste? Tasty? Is it hot? A little bit. A little bit. Okay. 
all right guys so this is the the bottom of it let's see how the bottom is looking let me scoop on this side so now we're going to serve it with some plantain and some salad, some greens. Yes, always eat your jollof with some greens. All right, oh, so this is so. Let me show you a bit of, of, of the bottom. So this is how the bottom is looking. It's not bad, right? Not that burnt. It's crispy brown. And that's exactly how I love it. This is how I teach my American children how to cook jollof rice. Maybe we'll try something else. What 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 other Ghanaian dish do you like that we, we should try? Hmm. None. Hmm. I I like to love rice. And I'm what? Hmm. Um, fried rice is Jamaican, right? Fried rice is universal. Hmm. Look Maybe. at look at you. Choose something different apart from rice. Maybe banku. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> For now, it's jollof rice. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe below Nana Firma TV. Toodles, bye. And don't forget to like this video. Bye. Bye bye.